All right, five tips for Unreal Engine 5 that you're probably not using that will make you significantly faster. First one that's a bonus, if you hit Shift C, when you have a level sequence selected, it'll cycle through your camera cut view and your just navigation view. All right, the first tip, let's say I have an object in my scene, let's just drag a cube in and center it up, and I wanna bring it exactly to this position of this background here. What most people do is they will go into the position and select this property, right click, copy and then go to this one and then click and paste that is a huge waste of time so instead what you're going to do is you're going to with the object position that you want to copy you're going to hold shift and right click on the location rotation or scale property then select the mesh that you want to bring those properties to and then shift left click on that property and now we just copied that position data exactly to that object all right the second thing is maybe i want to move this cube from this view but i also want to be able to look through my camera you could hit shift c and basically look between and just try and move this over and then just realize this is going to be a huge fat waste of time so what you're going to do is go up to window and then under viewports and viewport two three four however many you want up to four and we get a second viewport and we can click and drag and dock this into our scene now from here we'll go to one of these viewports does not matter go to perspective camera and now we are looking through our camera but this viewport over here we can go ahead and navigate and move stuff around as we need to depending on your graphics card this may eat a little bit of uh, extra processing power but just so you know that's how uh, unreal rendering works all right so i have this little grenade here and i look in my outliner and see that i have a ton of different meshes for this single grenade and let's say i wanted to go ahead and select the grenade and move it at once and it's not going to work so i'm going to go ahead and select the first mesh in this stack select the last mesh of this stack by holding shift go up to tools merge actors and then you're going to get this window and it's basically saying do we want to merge all of these actors together you can also select this tick box in the lower left hand corner to basically say whatever we replace let's go ahead and bring it into one mesh so i'll hit merge actors we need to make a folder for this or organize it in our project in some capacity so right click in the empty space go to new folder and type merged or whatever you want to call it double click that call this merged grenade save click ok and now we have our merged grenade awesome so now if i want to move this around i can go ahead and just do all of my moving things one thing that is worth noting is i did have this rotated in my world space so it did basically take all of my mesh and uh, have it slightly rotated on the axis so you will need to account for that but i'm just going to go ahead and put this under the rotator and now we're going to get our little animation once again awesome cool here's another quick tip if you go to your anything inside your project outliner and you go to your details panel you'll see this favorite tab not a lot of people use this for some reason even though it should be right there if you don't see it it probably is because you don't have any favorites but if you go into any property such as the lens exposure right click on anything go to add to favorites let's add my min and max exposure to favorites and maybe I also want to add my bloom stuff to my favorites as well. So now if I go to my favorites menu, I can see I have all this stuff that I can adjust in my favorites. So I don't have to scroll through the, the deep, deep details panel of the Unreal Engine 5 <laughs> workflow thing. All right, the last tip is let's say you have a mesh in your project and you wanna swap it for something else. Now for just one mesh, it's not that big of a deal, but let's say you had hundreds of them and you needed to swap all of them all at once. We're just gonna do the one for now, but if you right click on any static mesh in your outliner, you can find this replace selected actors with, and then you can go ahead and search for anything in your project you can use a selected mesh you can replace it with a light if you wanted to so what i'm going to do is go to my content browser find the mesh that i want to swap out i have this drone that i modeled from the blender bros courses right click on the grenade here go to replace selected actor selected replace selected actors with and then click on drone tut and it's going to be the static mesh that we want to swap out here 
you'll see that this is the selection that we have in our content browser. It's basically obeying whatever we have selected between these two different menus. So I'll just go ahead and select static mesh and it should swap out. And it is much larger relative to the grenade. So we'll change this grenade and we will set this to, uh, let's say 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, even smaller. 0 0.005, 0 0.005, 0 0.005, and now it's a very tiny drone. But now we can hit R on the keyboard and go ahead and hit Shift C to a few moments later. 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Great. Now we have the drone in our scene. Looks cool. Play it back, and uh, you got some cool tips for Unreal Engine 5. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. All that fun stuff, and as always, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. I'm injured, so I can't go to the gym, so I hope you can make some gains today. Bye.